Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, as I posted, Mozilla rolled out Firefox version 115, which is now the latest stable release. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to down below, if you'd like some more information about version 115, over and above the new features and the various fixes which Mozilla rolled out, they also included a couple of new changes. And as mentioned yesterday, one of the changes was this, where Mozilla says, Certain Firefox users may come across a message in the extensions panel indicating that their add-ons are not allowed on the site currently open. Mozilla carries on to say this about the change. We have introduced a new back-end feature to only allow some extensions monitored by Mozilla to run on specific websites for various reasons, including security concerns. Now, all the detail that Mozilla gave us was for various reasons and security concerns. And over and above that, they don't give us any more detailed information about the blocking of extensions. Now, this change is actually called Quarantined Domains by Mozilla. And if you do find yourself affected by this change, where you would like to allow, once again, all your extensions to run on all websites and not only some extensions monitored by Mozilla to run on specific websites, then it is possible to undo this change, which Mozilla included in version 115. And what we have to do to um, bring about this change is head over to about config and change the value of a relevant flag. Now to do this, as many of you may know, we head to the address bar and we enter about colon config. So that's about colon config. Accept the risk and continue. So just take note of that. And then in the search, enter this flag, which by the way, I'll leave down below for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference because it's quite a mouthful, which says extensions.quarantinedomains.enabled. Now what we have to do is change the value from true to false. True is the default value. We need to change that to false by heading to the right hand toggle and clicking on that toggle. And there you can see now the value has been changed from true to false. Now, once that's been applied, uh, I would suggest uh, restart Firefox to bring about that change and apply that flag. And now if you head back to your extensions and if you are visiting websites, you'll see now that this change will allow all your extensions once again to run on all websites and not only some extensions as stated by Mozilla are monitored by them to run on specific websites and um, obviously if you want to restore and set everything back to default if you no longer require this change for whatever reason by applying this flag you just follow the steps once again in this video and then you would change that value of that flag from false back to the default true so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one